Hey guys, Bidikas here, the One Take Wonder. In this video, I'm gonna be looking at unboxing the X570i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi motherboard for the Ryzen 3 platform. Um, this is from Gigabyte, obviously that's the Aorus uh, branding, but with that said, let's get unboxing. So one of the things with this channel is that, you probably already know if you're a regular, but I only do one take unboxings on this channel. So if anything stuffs up or any noises or anything like that, it's all going into the, the filming. Like you're gonna see it all. So anyway, first thing you've got your warranty information card there. You've also got a instruction manual, pretty comprehensive that one there. You've got a thermal pad there. I'd say that's for the M2 slot. Then you've got two SATA cables. One of them is right angled. One of them is straight. You've also got a ah, RGB. So that's the RGB cable there or extension, I should say. And this is for the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So yeah, then, oh, sorry, one last thing, two last things. You've got your Aorus badge for your front of your case to show that off and the CD with all the drivers and that in it, which you're probably just gonna download from the internet, let's be honest. Uh, those, by the time the CDs are printed, they're outdated. So there's no real point in getting the drivers off the CD unless you don't have internet access and it's new Windows install, then you might need that CD. So yeah, that's that's handy in that sort of circumstance. But overall, download it off the internet. Most Windows 10 installs will install pretty much straight out of the box without it. So, all right, and this is the main event. This is the X570i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. Sweet, so this thing here is the heatsink and fan for the M2 slot. Now the reason that that is over there is because underneath that is a chip and it gets really, really hot. So it transfers that heat straight to the M2 drive, which then needs to be dissipated. So they've, they've tried to do it with a a heat sink in there as well as under there. And that's also part of the heat sink as well. Um, but yeah, if, to be honest, um, it's gonna generate a bit of heat. So just be aware of that. Then you've got your enforced PCIe 16 slot, which is really nice. There's a, uh, hang on, where is it? Uh, there it is. There's the RGB header just there. Then you've got your USB 3. You've also got your 24 pin power, two reinforced DDR4 slots, your AM4 slot there, obviously. Then you've got uh, eight pin power up in the corner there. And the IO shield is obviously built in, looks like that. It's a pretty cool heat sink there as well. Um, in terms of ports, you've got your two HDMI ports there. You've also got display port, two USB there. You've got USB and a BIOS USB port, which is for flashing your BIOS without having a CPU or anything in there, which is really cool. There's a button for the Q Flash Plus. Um, I think that is a reset button just in there. Then you've got USB 3.1 port, USB type C, uh, gigabit ethernet port, your two antennas there for your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, I believe as well. And then you've got your audio jacks there. So yeah, it's a pretty nice looking board. Um, I'm gonna leave some links down in the description for builds that I do with this and also other Gigabyte products that I've reviewed in the past on the TechWiz Time channel. So yeah, if you, um, if you like this content, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And also if you're interested in further developments with the X570 platform or anything like that, then make sure you subscribe to the TechWiz Time channel. Make sure you like and share this video out there on social media platforms because it'll really help this channel to grow. It's only small at the moment, but it's gonna get bigger. I can, I can feel it. My personality just shines. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.